When we look back uh, the past 30 years, the bank was founded at the time of great transition of our country. The mandate of the bank was set amidst vigorous debates and consideration over what the economic future of a new Namibia could and should look like. Our founding fathers opted to anger the conduct of monetary policy under a fixed exchange rate regime. In this regard, the role of the bank had been to set an interest rate path that ensures the maintenance of the value of the Namibia dollar vis-a-vis -vis its anger currency. I'm happy to note that the bank has thus far done relatively well on this front. Inflation has been largely under control over the past 30 years, despite considerable stable, sound, well-regulated, and modern financial system as measured by global standards, one of the best in the African region. Over the past three decades, the central bank has dedicated its efforts towards reforming the Namibian financial sector. The goal has been to transform the sector into a more competitive, resilient, and inclusive instrument that will contribute to the economy at its highest potential. Thanks to the cooperation and collaboration from various stakeholders, the Namibian financial sector looks much different and more promising than it did 30 years ago. The sector has attracted more players, both in the banking and the non-banking financial sector sphere. Our concerted efforts to ensure that more Namibians have access to reliable and affordable financial services and products are bearing fruits. While this achievement is commendable, more still needs to be done to ensure that such services are available to the bulk of our rural population. The public mostly identify the Bank of Namibia with the function of currency issuance and management, and they should. The Namibia dollar has sent its first issuance on 14 September 1993, become an important symbol of nationhood and value to Namibians. In 2003, the Bank of Namibia expanded its services to the north of Namibia by constructing the Oshakadi branch. Through this expansion, there is a timely availability of the currency to a large share of the population in the northern regions. This was one way of guaranteeing that our services are easily accessible and available to the masses. The bank has also made meaningful progress in other areas. In terms of modernizing the national payment system, the bank's interventions ensure that payments and transfer of funds are done in a safe, cost-effective, and reasonably fast manner. The bank has also been committed to maintaining a healthy level of international reserves, as Namibia is an open economy and needs to ensure that it has adequate buffers in place to withstand financial headwinds. Overall, the Bank of Namibia has been critical in enhancing long-term macroeconomic stability in the country over the past 30 years. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that our 30-year journey as a central bank has not been without challenges. One of the main challenges in the early 1990s was to find qualified and experienced Namibian central bankers to carry out the mandate of the bank as enshrined in the constitution and other legislations. I'm happy to note that over the past 30 years, the bank has embarked on a successful capacity building and training program that produced skilled personnel over the years, not only for the bank itself, but for the country at large. Several of the leading minds in the private sector, at state-owned enterprises, and in government are products of this great institution. Educating Namibians has been and will continue to be a central part of the bank's social responsibility. It is a source of great pride to see the central bank and other critical institutions in the country run by Namibians 
a far cry from the situation of 30 years ago. It is worth pointing out that all these achievements over the last three decades were born out of the dedication of those who came before us. I will therefore fail in my duty if I do not acknowledge the hard work of my predecessors and the staff of the Bank of Namibia, past and present, who contributed to making what it is today. I would also like to applaud the continuing support of the government, the private sector, and all our esteemed stakeholders during this 30-year journey. I would also like to recognize the contributions of the international community in providing technical assistance to the Bank of Namibia during its formative years and thereafter. In this regard, the bank is highly indebted to the government of Sweden, to the United Nations, to the IMF, the World Bank, and our colleagues in the Common Monetary Area for their support. Before I deliberate on the role I see the bank focusing on in the future, the elephant in the room is we are currently preoccupied with the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has brought added challenges to an already fragile economy. We have been grappling with subdued economic activities and falling gross domestic product per capita since 2016. The immediate policy challenge for the Bank of Namibia at this moment is the impact of COVID-19 on economic activities on, consequently on the financial sector. The bank recently rolled out measures to preserve financial stability and smooth credit flows amidst the outbreak of the pandemic. We deployed a combination of monetary, micro and macro prudential policy actions that allowed banks to institute a loan repayment moratorium in the form of repayment holidays while ensuring uninterrupted lending to critical sectors of the economy. These measures epitomize the responsiveness of the central bank to prevailing macroeconomic conditions and economic cycles. This measure should remain broadly in force for as long as necessary and will be adjusted in line with the economic cycle. We will also continue to work together with the fiscal authorities to ensure that such policy effects are broadly optimized. Ladies and gentlemen, periods of economic and financial turmoil such as the one we are navigating today underline the need for strong central banks to serve as beacons of stability. The country at large is relying on us to deliver monetary stability, price stability, and financial stability during the unfolding pandemic and beyond. The key challenge is to navigate emerging risks that are surfacing in the global economic environment as we move forward with efforts to grow the economy more rapidly and create new jobs. Director of Ceremonies, the Namibian economy needs to transform and become competitive. We need to vigorously pursue economic diversification, improve productivity, and enhance resource allocation to productive sectors. As fiscal advisor to government, the bank is committed to play its part in this exercise. Namibia desperately needs faster, sustained economic growth to make a dent in the critical socioeconomic challenges of poverty and high unemployment, particularly among the youth and less skilled individuals. This area will be the preoccupation of the bank in the coming years. Discharging the mandate of the bank in this regard calls for a close partnership with government and the private sector. The bank is ready to work with the government not in a subservient role, but in a complementary fashion to set the framework for accelerated economic development. As I've alluded to earlier, the bank has continuously ensured a favorable macroeconomic environment for growth over the past 30 years. Going forward, however, 
monetary policy cannot be expected to be the driver of long-run growth in the economy. The policy challenges we face now are complex, and they will require equally complex strategies. The Namibian economy needs structural interventions to achieve a sustained increase in our growth potential. We need to dedicate our time to dissecting the constraints to growth in our economy, devise and implement the necessary strategies to overcome them. Over the coming decades, the bank needs to direct efforts towards supporting key players in the economy, as well as the government, to contribute effectively to economic development, growth, accelerated investment, and employment creation. Using our flagship annual symposium and other events, we will continue to address pertinent issues in the hope of addressing structural reforms and improving the long-term growth trajectory of our country. Looking towards the next 30 years and beyond, the ever-evolving global financial architecture presents a paradigm shift for the bank in the regulatory space. As a central bank, we should undoubtedly prepare to embrace the imminent digital revolution and tackle technological change. Digital transformation offers both opportunities and threats as it brings about fundamental changes in the working modes and business models in the financial sector. We will need to ensure that we have sound oversight over the digital architecture. As a regulator, it is incumbent upon us to make judgment calls on fintech risk, on digital currencies, making the cloud safe, supervising artificial intelligence, and defending the financial system against impending cybersecurity attacks. We also will need to be mindful of the manner in which we regulate new payment operators as we discharge our regulatory mandate in a gradually cashless society. Going forward, Director of Ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, the evolving role of central banks presents a paradigm-changing moment for the bank. A notable opportunity in this regard is the assignment of the macroprudential oversight function to the Bank of Namibia in terms of the Bank of Namibia Act of 2020. This act is operational since June 2020. The bank will remain committed and determined towards fulfilling its mandate by identifying and mitigating systemic risk which impact the entire financial system. In this connection, the bank has already prepared itself while to effectively deliver on its newly assigned mandate and has established the necessary institutional architecture and framework which principally involves two key things. One, the establishment of the Financial System Stability Committee as legally constituted in terms of Chapter 3 of the new Act and its adversary role in, is clearly defined. Presently, the Bank of Namibia in conjunction with NAMFISA and the Ministry of Finance is in the process of resourcing the Financial System Stability Committee. In addition, the bank has recently drafted a macroprudential oversight and financial stability policy framework that will serve as a guide in implementing the macroprudential oversight mandate. 